Good morning, guys. So I'm sitting here in our new house. Technically, it's not our house, it's my parents' house, but they're nice enough to let us live here for the next two years. So I'm super excited. I'll have to give you a home tour later. But um, I thought I would just let you guys know what I've been up to the last couple days. Um, we moved up here maybe like four, four days ago, five days ago, and just tried to unpack all of our stuff. Um, I've been hanging out with my parents and my brother because they came up here also. Um, my parents are leaving on a camping trip today. Seaman has already started school. Um, so I've just been kind of unpacking and figuring out where I want things and what we still need to get. And it's just so fun. But today I think Seaman and I are gonna go to Trader Joe's and Target to get some food and just some like last minute things we need in the house. And I just thought I would bring you guys along to our new town and our new area that we're living. Also, last night was pretty crazy because we had a huge power outage for like, I don't know, six, seven hours or something like that. Um, there are a lot of fires around the area here as well, not just in California, I guess. And um, wind speeds were like up to 80 miles per hour last night, so it was pretty crazy. So I think the power company just turned off everyone's power um, to keep us safe. But we ended up playing um, Settlers of Catan in the dark. And with just these like little lanterns and ate our ice cream so it wouldn't melt. But that was kind of a fun experience to have in our, our new little home. Whew. All right, so we just got done at Trader Joe's. We went to Target first and then we stopped by Best Buy really fast to find a fan. But it seems like everyone else is looking for a fan as well because we couldn't find any. But then we went to Trader Joe's and stocked up on delicious food. And I'm so excited to try all these new things. Are you super excited as well? Yes. Yes. Do you even know what I'm talking about? Try all these new things. Yes, all these new things are from Trader Joe's, especially all these vegetarian like cauliflower rice and cauliflower chicken and stuff like that. So now we're gonna go to Cafe Yum and pick up some yum bowls. If you're in the Portland area, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not, then it's just like this healthy, I don't even know, like a health food cafe kind of thing. So. Can I show off my glasses? Yes. Hey. <laughs> oh, cool trick. Yay, the food is ready. Yum, 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 yum. Yes. Food. Okay, I've been like a super slacker since I got home from our errands this morning. Um, I was gonna show like a haul of everything we got at Target and Trader Joe's, but I totally forgot and put everything away. So that's not gonna happen now, but I did want to show you something I'm really proud of. This trash can I got at Target and I've been looking for this. I swear I've been looking for this for like two months and it's been sold out everywhere. It's like non, not shippable on um, Target, like online. And I just love it. So I'm super happy I found this, even though it said it was sold out at the store we went to too, but somehow they just had a couple. I only got one, but I'm super happy about this purchase. So now it's evening and my parents left on a camping trip, but I'm here with my brother and Seaman, and I think we're gonna go get boba from the food trucks that are like, two minutes away and um, watch Mulan tonight. Also, I really just want to show you guys this dip that I got at Trader Joe's today. It is so good. It is the creamy cauliflower jalapeno dip and it is literally delicious. It has a little bit of cream cheese and ricotta cheese and Parmesan cheese. Well, it's all a cheese, but um, so, so, so good. I also got my absolute favorite hummus ever from Trader Joe's, just the classic hummus dip. Okay, one more thing I'm like really excited to try. I love everything pumpkin and they have pumpkin waffles at Trader Joe's and wow, my mouth is watering just looking at these. I cannot wait to try this.
Good morning, guys. So I'm at the track. Um, it's like, um, I don't know, like a 10 minute walk away, two minute drive away. So I'm just gonna do my little laps on the track. I like to be out here for like maybe an hour. I'm trying to start a new routine here and hopefully start running here if I get up the, the nerve and courage. Looks like it. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, so it's been a couple days. I have not been very good at vlogging what's been happening, but I thought I would just update you guys on what's happened the last couple days. And it's been pretty crazy. So as I mentioned earlier, there's been a lot of fires around here and specifically like really close to where we live. And so a lot of our neighboring cities have been, um, people have been evacuated because of the fires. Um, and our house was in a zone where it was a level one evacuation, which means you basically just need to like be prepared. You should probably start packing up things just in case you have to leave, figure out like where you would go. So that was fine. My brother and Steven and I got our stuff together and we were, you know, just being prepared for anything um but we did end up deciding to go to my cousin's house in portland to just stay there with um all of my family members so we went there we played some nintendo switch some mario party and mario kart which was super fun and just hung out there for the evening spent the night and the next day we went to the coast and as you probably saw in um one of those clips it was so weird the fires made the sky like all the smoke made the sky look like like the world was in a filter like a sepia filter so that was pretty crazy like we went to escape the smoke but ended up just going to more smoke but we decided after the coast we uh, would come back here to our house um even though we're now in a level two evacuation zone which means like you really need to be ready. <laughs> it's just like one step more serious than a level one. Um, but the air here is pretty crazy. It's like really smoky. It's um, officials are saying it's like it's hazardous, so you need to stay inside. But we have not officially been evacuated yet, and hopefully um, we won't be. We've just been hanging out here all day and trying to not inhale all the smoke that's outside. But it is a pretty serious situation. I know lots of people have had to be evacuated and many people have lost their homes and it's really sad. Um, but we're safe, we're staying cautious. We will leave if we have to. And I don't know, it's just crazy. We're used to a lot of fires in California there have been tons um, this summer as well, like close-ish to my parents' house where I was before here. And it was really smoky, so <laughs> we all thought like it would be nice to come up here and be like, oh, Oregon, fresh air, like it'll be so nice to escape the smoke. And my parents had this camping trip planned and they're up in the woods in Washington, but it's still smoky up there too because there are fires, just fires everywhere in California, Oregon, and Washington. So. It's, um, it's hard to escape, but everyone I know is safe and just hanging in there. I think tonight we're going to eat tacos and watch a movie and my parents are coming here tomorrow. That is if we aren't evacuated by then, but I think we'll be fine. It seems like the weather is just getting better and better, um, so that's good. 
But last night we all took turns like waking up every two hours to check the updates just in case like, you know, we didn't want to sleep through an evacuation. That would have been bad. So I think we'll do the same thing tonight. We'll just set our alarms every two hours and check to make sure we don't need to leave in the middle of the night. And yeah. Also, I'm wearing my um, Jack Wills hoodie that I asked for for Christmas. Whoa. That I asked for for Christmas like... I don't know, five years ago because I saw Harry Styles wearing it in a photo once.